It's uh, 20 minutes past seven. Good morning. They have been a quintessentially English part of fates and festivals for hundreds of years, and they're always there to perform with bells on. They're, of course, talking about Morris dancing. Of course we are. Uh, but there are some fears that this tradition could be dying out as groups struggle to recruit new members. Liz Cooper has been to meet one group in Staffordshire. They're fighting to keep the bells and the music alive. <laughs> These are the Utoxeter Heart of Oak Morris dancers, but they're practicing with members of a neighbouring group from Stafford. That's because their numbers have dwindled. We've really struggled to get new recruits come into the club. If we do not get new people come into the club in the next couple of months, the club is going to have to fold and that would be absolutely devastating for the local history and the ancient tradition of Morris dancing in Utoxeter. The group was formed in 1954, performing dances which date back centuries. Tradition matters because it's part of the, the social glue that stitches uh, community life together. It matters because what's a village fake without Morris dancing? The group performs at festivals and fates, high days and holidays. They've entertained audiences both locally and in Europe. So for anyone tempted to give Morris dancing a try, what are the benefits? Well, one of the reasons I joined is I'm quite new to the area, so I wanted to get to know some new people and social, you know, a bit of a social thing. Uh, and also it's really good for um, fitness. Every practice, you, you come home and you, you're invigorated, you're smiling. Yeah, it's, it's just wonderful, wonderful. Have a go. At, at the end of the day, the worst thing you can do is not like it. But you might actually find that you actually thoroughly enjoyed it and you get to dance around, throw some hankers in the air and smash some sticks together. It's, it's a great, it's just a great fun just to have a go. The group practices once a week. They're hoping their appeal for new members will help to keep this tradition alive. Liz Copper, BBC News, Utoxity. Well, we're now joined in the studio by the Ringhay uh, Morris of Mobley for a special performance. There they are. Take it away. I think you've been nominated to come and have a chat round. with us. <laughs> come join us on the sofa. That was wonderful. Thank you very Wasn't much. Wasn't it just gorgeous? Do you know what? As soon as we said we're having Morris dancers on the programme and um, one of our colleagues in the makeup room said, oh, they'll probably be men. And I said, no, actually. Because <laughs> it's surprising. Well, we see more women involved in Morris dancing than they used to be. Uh, I think women have always been involved in Morris dancing. In fact, women kept it going through the war, right. when the men were off fighting. So women have always been really important in Morris dancing. And um, I think in a lot of sides now, there are, it may be a mixed side, but they, you'll often find there are more women than men, and that's what's happened with us. That's really interesting. We started equal numbers, and gradually we've lost our men. I mean, it, we saw your performance. It, it wakes you up on a on a Sunday morning, if uh, you know, if nothing else. But what is the appeal? What what is the draw of Morris dancing? What got you involved? Me. Yeah. It's fun. Um, but as opposed to any other type of dancing, what was the? What was well, the I I I started dancing Morris dancing with Ring Hey Morris 40 years ago. And I joined them because it was fun to watch and I've stayed with them because it's fun to do. I do do other forms of dance. So I do Irish set dancing and Kaylee dancing and French dancing. Wow. Um, but this is how I started and 
So it's like the mainstay, really. It's interesting, Karina, that Anne's talking about Irish dancing, French traditional dancing. In a lot of other cultures, traditional folk dance is celebrated in a way that perhaps Morris is. dancing is. It's sometimes the butt of some jokes, isn't it? Why do you think that <laughs> is? I, I don't know. It, it, it's such a shame that we don't embrace yeah. our culture uh, like other countries do. It is so much fun. And you find that when you are out dancing, people do love to see it but it is made a joke of and, you know, sort of, it is really what we're trying to say is it's so much fun to do uh, as well as the exercise. And do you know what? We're just looking at footage us. of it. Now, what <laughs> I also <laughs> like about it, and don't invite me to do it, but I would if, if things were different, but it looks like it's one that you could pick up quite easily. So the complexity of it shouldn't put people off. Yeah, I mean, that, this is this, which is that dance. Yeah. The, the one we've just done that we've modified a bit. That is deliberately meant to be simple because right. we do that dance for anything up to two hours time. around wow. Nutsford for Nutsford May Day. So it is a, a full on workout then, if you're doing that for, for two hours. For, yes, in that, um, in in that, that weather as well. That was so quite we cool. wrote this dance <laughs> called Mallory's March and we wrote it to be simple so that we, we can just keep going for two hours. There are other dances that are a lot more complex. Um, but there's always a dance for everybody. And, and tell me about the, the outfits, because they're very striking, they're very colourful. Is there a significance? Does each troop... Uh, is troop the right word, even? For, um, troop but... tends to be what is the name for what we call the fluffy Morris, the carnival Morris. OK. The, gir the girls who have the pom-poms. So, but with... We're the... a side. So, a side. Okay. So, with the outfits, are they significant to the, to the group or to the region, or are they just chosen by the members and... I pick nice colours. I, I think some of it is for, uh, I mean, there are different styles of Morris, so we do Northwest Morris. Um, ah. And I think, uh, you know, it's got traditions from the mills, which is why we wear clogs. And we have the bobbins. Um, and the bobbins um, that are old from the mills. So oh, so those are actually old bobbins from the mills? They are old oh, wow. bobbins, yeah. yes. So. We were looking at that group from the West Midlands who were trying to encourage the next generation to come through. And for some of them, they said it's been a lifeline in terms of isolation and that community feel. So that could be one element, couldn't it, for people who are thinking about taking it up? It is. I mean, when I started dancing, it was because I'd just had my kids, we'd moved house and I needed to get out of the house. <laughs> and I came to Ring Hay and, it, you know, they're so friendly and welcoming. <laughs> that it is, it is just, it is very friendly. You know, everyone's welcoming. Um, well, and where can we check you out then? Because I am sold. So we <laughs> practice in Mobberley. Yep. Uh, our name is Ring Hay Morris of Mobberley. Um, we've got a website and um, Karina and some of the others run the Facebook page, page which I know nothing about. It's usually Ring around Morris. pubs, isn't it? Oh, which yeah. Well, uh, appeal, oh, yes, so. definitely pubs. <laughs> well, all through the summer, we don't practice at all. We oh. go out to pubs every Wednesday night what a fun all around Mobberley. So um, May, June and July and into August. We always dance at a pub on a Wednesday night. Well, we shall track you down over yeah. the summit. Thank yeah, you very much. And I've got it. to say, Anne's hair earlier I was admiring. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting the short, sharp chop. And you said your husband, Jim, who was in, in the My group, other half, it? Jim, actually cuts my hair. He has, done, to he has done for over 20 years. And no, he's not a qualified hairdresser. So he <laughs> looks fab. You'd never know. I You'd know. Never you. yeah. Let's get his number for mine. Thank you very okay. much, Anne and Karina. I'll see you in the summer. Yes. Right, Sunday with uh, Laura Koonsberg is on BBC One at nine o'clock this morning. Uh, Laura, what have you got on the programme? Good morning, Ben. Good morning, Nina. Welcome back. It's lovely to see you. Um, that was amazing, wasn't it? I think one of you two needs to take it up in the summer and see you Morris dancing on breakfast maybe every Sunday morning. But there won't be any dancing in the studio this morning because we've got a serious conversation coming up with all of the threats in the Med Middle East that you've... Just a moment. Hey, player.